Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode on the Night Owl server. Uh, yes, yes, I have been working busy with this zombie ant farm. I want to get, get it running. Uh, I think that, that I will keep a grand opening, kind of like a community thing here. Uh, I re d decided to redo the uh, floors. Uh, it was looking a bit dull when they were in uh, straight lines, so I d tried to uh, go go a bit like curvy and uh, do some, uh, you know, make them look a bit different each each of them, and it it looks great. Uh, and I have added some of the stuff in there. Um, let's go and take a look closer. Uh, these uh, dispensers here. Can I show you better? Yeah. Oops. Up, yeah. These dispensers will control the water. Uh, those signs will keep it in place and allow the zombies to climb up into this floor. And then I, I'm hoping that uh, when they jump on the water, they eventually decide to roam that way. Uh, I'm not sure about that. If it doesn't uh, work like that, come on, buggy anvil. I'm going to add one more here and make it go flow one block that way. And same for all of those. Where's another one there? So that would, uh, it would be there and flow into each direction, I think. And that way the uh, zombies are forced forced to uh, go somewhere. And then we have these. Let, actually, let's go up one block. Uh, sorry, one level. I have these trap doors, and these are also controlled by a clock or by that control board that I made, but I'm going to show you that in a bit. Uh, this is a way up, and there's uh, here's a way down. This will be always on, so this is the uh, master lift, which will lead lead them all the way up, uh, up up to the uh, top floor of the uh, system here. And I'm hoping if if this doesn't push them or they don't want don't wander here I'm going to add a another water source here or here and push them a block or two it's the same here and we can control these with redstone behind here I'm hoping so it's is it that block yes oops and dead no it's two hearts <laughs> Uh, for the falling trees to the rescue. Uh, oh man, I have been using uh, whatever ever stuff I can get from the uh, skeleton spawner and from the skeleton. So uh, these are pretty decent items. I have these are my last better falling boots that I have gotten from those guys, and uh, they have helped me a lot. And uh, yes, so what was I saying? Uh, yeah, we can control these the uh, trapdoors with the redstone torches, and then we can uh, just flick the torch, uh, which will change this either on or off. And uh, I will probably make them so that if there is a a two, I don't know if there is any other floor, but the one that we already saw that there is two trapdoor doors in in the floor. Uh, all of these will be closed or open, I think. Uh, at least at, at, at first I will make it so. Maybe eventually I will change it so that they can... Uh, they will alternate a, a bit. There was one floor with, with two of these, but I can't find it. Oh, and that's up. <laughs> yes. Uh, and yeah, the clock is going to... It's, and these all are two... Uh, two uh, block drops, all of these. I don't know if zombies will uh, fall from here. I don't think that they will do it uh, on their own. If another one pushes them, they will drop, but they won't take damage. Oh, here's the floor with the two trapdoors. So I'm thinking that one of these are open and one of these is closed and they will alternate depending on what, what the clock says. Uh, let's go here. I'm going to show you the control board that I made. Uh, I first made a uh, 
a standing a platform up in the air where I would I was thinking about, about uh, controlling the tower from but uh, I decided to go with this so these levers are going to control uh, one of these are going, going to control the uh, trapdoors one of them is going to control uh, the water and this one or, or one of them is going to control the clock so one of them turns the clock off and on and uh, one of them of these will turn them uh, on or off uh, the water and the trapdoors and I also have these two buttons here I know what I'm going to do with one of these uh, I just placed the other one for uh, symmetrical sakes but this is going to uh, I'm going to make a, a system that will release a new zombie when you press this button so probably a door will open and water stream will push a new guy in and the door will close so we can add zombies from here and I will have a holding area behind there in the mountain uh, what else I would just want to show you yeah I have been gathering the zombies here a bit I think that I have 10 I think or something like this they are here growling away in this pit oh there's there has been some deaths apparently so they have been into the blocks and suffocated themselves but I think that I will have a system that I have been thinking of uh, in here somewhere probably on this mountain uh, that will automatically capture these and uh, they will be pushed or transported to that, to, to that system and uh, that way we can have an infinite source of zombies so if if uh, they die uh, uh, suffocate into the block which will they will do uh, we are not going to run out of these guys uh, yes so that's about it and now we can get to the uh, business of this episode which is the wiring uh, I'm hoping to uh, there's really not that much time, much time that I have for the, today it has been a busy day but I wanted to record something and I'm going to start oh yeah and I added this uh, extended this walkway here and uh, it goes all the way to the farms that's around three or four stacks of ice and be under there and but it's it's great you move so much faster on that <clears throat> sorry about that all right I'm also it, maybe you saw when I dropped here uh, I have laid these uh, walkways oh sorry this uh, wireways uh, this is controlled by these uh, levers or these levers and uh, I was thinking of doing uh, a uh, long wire thing but uh, I don't oh, there's, those aren't on hmm oh they are <laughs> in the wrong place I moved them <laughs> yes and that was a torch okay yeah yeah I moved this this so that's that's the reason okay let's get down there so let's say that uh, master switch for the clock here uh, water and trapdoors so let's try to figure out uh, the trapdoor and the water the clock is the easiest one and I'm going to set up the clock uh, uh, later first I want to get it running manually so let's extend this as far as it goes oh, the lag is pretty bad for me it has been better there are it varies depending on the day and uh, uh, as you can see today is pretty bad all right let's oh i will make this one first and i carved this this one here actually let's let's do the water first and we'll say that this is the water so we need to go up here and I'm going to use torch tower I think or maybe I will use the uh, trick with the uh, half slabs that could be a better option uh, it's it's there's no delay when you use that let's make a bunch of stone bricks 
maybe I should stick that in the uh, in the hole in here somewhere there's a good spot all right let's try to find the first dispenser it's probably somewhere there and as you can see I have been enchanting stuff I have been working on the cave spider spawner a bit and uh, been getting levels have been caving a lot uh, I haven't got an, an, an uh, fortune pick which which is the, the one thing that I would like to have m the most but I have a decent or a good shovel a good axe and a bunch of these efficiency force unbreaking three picks and I got a good sword that sharpens for fire aspect 2 and I have a magic touch iron a pick that I made earlier okay and I think if we do this uh, not with the stone but with the bricks actually I'm going to take this out so it doesn't spill out oh no no there's uh, there's uh, the uh, uh, what's it called the uh, signs are going to prevent that so I think that if I do this will I get all of the uh, all both of these uh, what do you guys think let's see so remove that empty empty okay so that's the uh, way that we are going to do that oh these anvils are bucky <laughs> all right so they are correct okay so this is how we can power these easily and let's get them out okay now they should be here yes okay so how are we going to do this i'm going to do the first one on on camera maybe two the second one is 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 it over there ah let's let's figure out it uh, soon Okay, so this one we can bring here. Hmm, I was thinking about doing the torch trick, but uh, oh sorry, the uh, slap stick trick, but it's probably better if we go just with stairs. The thing is that I need to have two, two of these. Mm -hmm. So one for the trapdoors and one for these. So if I bring it up here, I can bring the trapdoor one up here, and you know have have it controlled like this. Oh, sorry, like this, and the trapdoor is behind that. Maybe that would, would be the best. So wire here. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. Uh, I'm going to clear this this wall up. Or do I need to clear it? <laughs> decisions, decisions. Uh, what to do? I need to bring it in here so there's a lot of carving out to be done yeah I'm going to do it I, uh, I'm going to carve out these two blocks oh sorry rows all right we have some room now to work with uh, I was thinking when I while I was carving this that uh, I will make these uh, the water ones like this uh, they are going to be uh, controlled uh, oh sorry uh, I'm going to wire them like this and the uh, uh, trapdoors I will bring up with a torch tower and then I use the torch to control this, them uh, this, that way I can make this one go here I wire this from here on the last one and then the torch the torches will be on, on in here 
and uh, they won't interfere I hope not okay so let's get going here uh, we need to go one more long down in here I won't I will be changing all of these where, where I press uh, uh, sorry place wire to the stone bricks uh, just to uh, you know know later where, where the wiring are I do this for all my redstoning so here we go first one I think that I need a repeater here yes so let's place it on the bottom here uh, did I not place it yes oh and this could be a button it doesn't have to be a lever or it would be better if it's not a lever yeah that's that I'm going to change that into a button but that's for later now I, it's good to have them uh, on so the next one is in the middle let's do that one and then I'm going to uh, do this off camera so it's that one I think in here so it's kind of like straight up so let's try it how are we going to do this mm. so in here can I do this and then the redstone on top of that I think that it will connect yes okay and then we'll go use a normal block here and here and then we start with these and there and bring the wire with us so we can see where we need a repeater one there one there wires yeah block block uh, not yet one more Yes, and then we'll bring it here. Oops, not there. Uh, bring it here and there. Remove that. So we need one more. Hopefully, the uh, wire makes its way in here. That block. Yeah, great. All right, second one done. Only three more to go, I think, <laughs> if I remember correctly. One there, one there, and one behind the ladder there. So yes, like I said, I will work on this. This is pretty repetitive, very boring. Let's say it like that, and uh, I will be back when I made some progress. Mm hmm. I got it all made. It wasn't actually that bad. They were quite uh, in quite good places to uh, wire them, and uh, uh, yeah, there wasn't any problem. So uh, it's good. Let's jump down here and t take a look at it outside. All right, all of them are. Oh, baby zombie. These guys are, guys are annoying when the, uh, you know, since, since I have some lag, they will always get me and uh, set me on fire. Huh, the fire is bad. Yeah, I have fire aspect on my sword and it's... Hmm, it isn't the best. So one is, is hidden in there. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see. All right, all of them are down. Uh -huh. And then back on. Yes. It works. Yeah, alright, that's great. So now it's time for the uh, 
for the other wiring uh, for the trapdoors and uh, I was thinking of maybe doing it in here so I could add a block and torch on top of that and that way it I don't have to worry about any of this o almost any of this redstone that is in there so I think that that could be a easier solution for that uh, I also went and removed uh, removed a block behind each of the trapdoors so I can see from this side where they are so there's one and uh, there's one there's one and there's more more up high but these are the lowest ones oh yeah there's there are two trapdoors in the uh, second floor I think no ah oh, sorry that th th yeah yeah the second that was the first so it's in there yeah but yeah let's first make the uh, couple of them together and then I will make the rest of them uh, off camera uh, to uh, keep this episode at a decent uh, length oops not there we need to get get up high I need to remove some more stone I did was lazy and didn't remove all because I thought that I don't have to <laughs> so the trapdoor is there so we need to power this block let's test my theory if I do this nope so I can't do that that sucks uh, what's going on didn't it work previous or do I need to do this and then over it from here yeah hmm what's going on I thought that I could do this but obviously not oh this is going to make it more difficult let's try that again I thought that I could do this but have it in here there's a block there and this would be in here doesn't this power this one it should I can't remove that but I could remove this one this would work yeah oh so if I power it constantly it will give oh I, I thought that I should or need to flick it but obviously not so maybe this did work oops nope uh, can't remove that or oh, maybe I will do this for all of these it doesn't show up outside when, when I close this up and then I need to power this one yeah that that's what I will do this is the simplest solution I think because I can't power it through a block or does it need to be this one no it doesn't work it, it's not going to go through a block yeah okay so let's let's do that and actually the first thing, thing that I'm going to do is I'll go around this all of this and uh, no no yeah let's let's do this first together and then, then I will do the rest of of camera so do that and that now it's open then we'll do can I reach yes that and it's closed uh, let's go down 
down. I'm going to need a lot of scaffolding here. That. I don't really care what, what the first one is going to be. Is it going to be closed or open? But the, uh, ne the next ones are the uh, crucial ones. So we need to bring it here. I need to m make them all the same, of course. So if I bring this up, I need to power this one from from here, I think. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's remove that. That was one too high. Uh, we can do it from here. Yeah. Uh, let me out. And then, <clears throat> sorry about that. Then we need to go. Huh. It's so difficult to figure this out. Uh, we need to go. Yes, we need to do this, that there. Yeah, and remove this. Okay, now so, so now we can uh, control this with with a redstone line. Do I have any levers? No. If we turn the lever on, uh, is it not going to flick it? Ah, 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 I forgot a block. No, <laughs> I did some mistake here. <laughs> Crap, this is hard. Come on, focus. Block there, block there, torch there. Uh, the torch should be here, then the block here, and then this one here. Okay, so I can't remove that block, of course. And now if we flick this, yeah. All right, now it works. So now I'm going to make a cut here and uh, uh, wire the rest. Uh, yes, these were, uh, <laughs> how do I say it nicely? Well, there was a lot of work <laughs> work to get, get them all going, but uh, I think that I got them now. So let's, oops, uh, Let's go and see if I got them all right. So I had to make one change. There is uh, this one to the plan. I mean, one change to the plan. Uh, these can't be both be open at the same time because they would fall four blocks or five blocks and uh, take damage. So uh, one of them is open and one of them is closed. All right, they seem to be working. So closed, closed, closed closed and closed and that one is open and this should be the different the uh, other way open 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 closed and open all right I ha and i had a little accident there to uh, bring out the, those borders they should be working now yeah and the one in here all right this is great Was I too fast? The lag is sometimes bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. This works great. So this was a lo le long episode. Hope you still enjoyed it. Uh, the next time we will work on this, we'll probably do the clock and uh, the, uh, the zombie feeder from this and this lever. Uh, but yeah, until then, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you on the next one.